My story is called The Boy Who Drew Cats. So there was a family that Joji lived in. The family were farmers. His siblings were farmers. His parents were farmers. So while the parents and the siblings were doing their work, Joji was drawing cats. He drew different shapes and sizes of cats. Small cats, big cats, thin cats, and fat cats. <laughs> and so his father went to Joji and said, Go do your work and stop drawing cats. <laughs> so, jo so Joji apologized to his father. Sorry, father, I'll go do my toys right now. So he started his work, but he drew cats again. A cat passed by, so he drew cats. So the wife looked at her son, Joji, and said to the father, he will never be a farmer. So the father took Joji to a temple and told the priest to make him a priest. So the priest went, I'd happily teach your son. So the first class was writing. So they had paper, ink, and a brush. While the other students were writing and doing their work, he drew cats. He drew small cats, big cats, thin cats, and fat cats. <laughs> so the priest told him, stop drawing cats and do your work. So he apologized and started his work. But the next day, when, pre when the priest went to the temple, he saw cats all over the wall. <laughs> so Joji was in big trouble. So the priest said, leave my temple right now. So Joji left. He was upset and sad, and he was sure that his father would get really mad. So he decided to go to a little village. He saw a temple, so he opened the door and said hello. No answer, he said a ladder. Hello? So he realized that no one was in the temple, so he just walked in. And the biggest, was, biggest surprise was in there. There was a big wall, so he dropped cats again. Small cats, big cats, big cats, thin cats, and fat cats. But in the middle, he drew his biggest and fattest cat. And it was his most outstanding work. So he was exhausted after drawing all those cats around the walls. So he decided to sleep in a closet because he didn't like the big space in the temple. So he slept in the closet. But in the middle of the night, he heard sounds. Rustle, rustle, snip, snip. And he was too scared, so he just stayed in the closet. But after a while, he heard a big meow sound. Meow! There was pounding sounds, punching sounds, and meowing sounds. And soon, he waited next morning, and it was daylight. So he opened the closet, and he saw a big rat dead on the floor. A rat? A rat, yeah. And so he saw the, his outstanding big cat on the wall and realized it was facing the other way. So he realized that, that the cat saved his life. So he bowed down and thanked the cat. Thank you, thank you. And the villagers checked out the temple because they heard sounds and they realized that the, cat, the, the rat was dead. And apparently the rat was a big problem in the village. So Joji became a hero to the vil village and everyone praised him. And no, he, didn't, he did not become a farmer, nor a priest, but became an artist. And that is the end of my story. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, well, I mean, her shirt is actually a shirt. Yeah, I didn't find that out. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. Bye.